flavonoids. It's an entire family of nutrients. And as the research suggests that flavonoids, all the different flavonoids, have a very powerful impact on what we call gene expression and cell signaling pathways that plays a role in many, many different health issues. And that's why every one of the flavonoids are so darn healthy. Now, the flavonoids is a family. There are six different flavonoids, six different categories. The first category is the anthocyanins. We spoke about that this morning. They're so powerful for the brain and for the heart. What's in these anthocyanins? You've heard of proanthocyanidine, right? Anthocyanins, these flavonoids. Well, there's blackberries and blueberries and all the red, blue, and black berries, the reds, the purple grapes, even red wine. It's a very powerful major part of the Mediterranean diet. Then there are flavanols, N-O-L-S, green tea, chocolate, apples, apricots, red grapes, and red wine also in the flavanols. Then there are flavon flavones, F-L-A-V-A-N-O-N-E-S, flavanones. What's in the flavanones? Citrus fruits, the citrus juices, orange, grapefruit, that, that market garden complete orange blend, perfect blend of flavanones. Then there are flavanols, OLS, or, uh, onions, kale, leeks, broccoli, apples, blueberries, cranberries, the flavones, parsley, and thyme, and celery, and hot peppers, and the isoflavones, soybeans, soy foods, and legumes. When I, when I was teaching physiology, food physiology, uh, biochemistry of eating, uh, I would take a week on just this topic alone, flavonoids. Fascinating. And every one of them is healthier than the next uh, on creating health in your body in so many different areas. The black, the blue, the red berries and purple and red grapes and red wine and green tea and that dark cocoa chocolate and apples and apricots and red grapes and all those citrus fruits and onions and kale and leeks and broccoli, all those, those, those foods that are so high in the isotheocyanates, that the, the broccoli the, and apples and blueberries with your quercetin in there and parsley. I mean, this is what you should be eating.